Oh, hey there. Just changing the oil in the old truck here. Well, let's get to it. First off, we'll jump into our gator and head on down to the cow pasture to go check them out. Our grass field here it ended up getting rained on, so we really got hurt by that yield. You know I want you close. Cows look like they're doing good. Somehow I know you're gonna be the now we'll shut that gate up and head on down to the horse pasture. Right we'll just walk into the horse pasture to check them out. Now we'll head on back down to the farm. Yes, yes, I still need to fix my driveway. We'll grab the 4020 off the auger and take it, put it on the tether to take it to start tedding our yield loss grass field. Now that the tether's set off, we'll jump into our 4955 and grab the 568 baler and start baling some straw. I love this baler because of the texture of the bales and how big they are. They just look so much more realistic to me. We're getting pretty good yield off this field here. I think this 4955 makes a great baling tractor. Now we'll head on down to the next field. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're gonna be the we'll get a bird's eye view as the tractor starts bailing this next field. We sure are missing a lot on the end rows. Now we'll start cleaning up everything that was missed on the end rows. Say you think about me because I'm starting to doubt we will find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world. Well, almost everything. We are gonna leave a little bit in the field. Now we need to put a gooseneck hitch into Squad's truck, but first we need to back out the 5488. Just gonna put a gooseneck receiver on this truck, just forgot to get it when I purchased it. So the reason we needed a gooseneck receiver is because our newly purchased gooseneck trailer here to pick up the bait. I know this is cheating a little bit, but they made auto load for a reason, because not a lot of people like picking up bales in farm sim. You guys will have to forgive me, I know it kills the realism using auto load, but mm, 
just not really practical in farm sim physics. So we're going to take this down to the sales barn and sell these bales to make a little money. Made 30,000 moolahs on that load there. Now we're going to grab our planting tractor, our 7810, and put it on our drill, fill it up quick, and put it in the field and start planting soybeans. Got to get our double crops in. I haven't got the opportunity to use our 7210 much, so I decided to take the loader off for it quickly and put some duals on so we can put it on the other drill. Now we got it hitched up, now we got to fill it up. Get it started in the field. We'll clean up with the baler mist on this uh, double 40 here. So now we'll let the baler start going on the next 40. Look at that beautiful John Deere rig in action. Jump over across the street and look at some red paint quickly. Now we gotta pick up these bales quickly to stay in front of the planters. So this will be the last load we sell, the rest we'll keep for our livestock. Start our case magnum into the next field after we clean this up a bit. John Deere looks like it's on this last few passes. Looks like our planners caught up to our baler here. Now we just got to clean up what the hired hand missed over here. Now it's a real mad rush trying to keep in front of the planter beans that already took off. Watch the beautiful Magnum in action here. And also watch the 7810 work feel.
Looks like the Magnum's on its last pass. Just got to work the corners here. Send the Magnum over with the John Deere because the John Deere can't keep up. Just joking, just joking. I love both tractors. Clean up these in rows with the Magnum here. And after we hit these in rows, start heading back to the farmyard. So we just got all of our soybeans planted. So we need to wash these drills up, put them away till winter week wheat is due. So thanks for watching everyone. And I will see you later here on Autumn Oaks. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.